I've had more sense. My common sense have scaled up. Hi guys. If you're new to this channel, my name is Grace. I'm enjoying to lose 60 pounds. So this channel is centered around my weight loss, lifestyle and my date. So today I'm going to be telling you how I gain weight and why I gain weight. So let's dive right into it. So the first reason I think that made me gain weight is stress. I was undergoing a lot of stress. So I just finished from secondary school at the time. And when I finished from secondary school, I was roughly 50 something kg, 55, 56, 57. It was always floppy. I never hit 60. I wasn't that big. I was that size of that. I did not head into investing immediately for some personal reasons. So I was at home for a long time and during those times I was at home, I went through a lot of stress, a lot of stress. I was head deep in stress. I was living in stress. I was distressed, man. I remember that I was the <laughs> permanent house girl and the housekeeper. So if you're in Africa or if you're in Nigeria, you know how it's like when you're living with your parents when you're still young. Obviously, it's like normal for you to go on errands a lot. But in my case, I was kind of like the eldest at home at that time. So it wasn't just about going errands. I was the one basically running the home. I took care of almost everything, if not everything. I was it like, that was just my lifestyle. So I was going through a lot of stress like, God, I cannot overemphasize stress. I used to have back pain. I used to have back pain from stress. And I used to wonder, can a young person have back pain? At that age. Can someone so young have I back pain? I on myself. And then I started doing stretching exercises to like help ease back pain. And went for some time and came back again. But now I really don't have that much of a back pain. But I used to have back pain. At that age, I was roughly 17. Imagine you having back pain at 17. <laughs> Not like you're doing any serious thing like um, construction work or manual labor. But just running over home. Like... Oh, our parents are trying. I was everything, everything I can think of. I was the chef, I was the cleaner, I was the service provider. When I mean service provider, I mean anything you need in the house. I'm the person you will call. I'm the go-to person. So service provider, the house shopper. I used to shop for the house, every single thing. Like I said, I was a full-time house girl. So that was it. Stress. I was ballsy in stress, and that made me gain. So the second reason was depression. I was depressed. I had encountered something in my first year of staying at home after secondary school. I had encountered some personal issues and that was dreaming to a shell. I didn't want to talk to much people. I've always been a talkative, like I've always I've said it. I've always been talkative. I'm still a talkative till now. I think that's one trait that I can't easily let go. But I just withdrew into a shell. I was still talkative but I wasn't letting anyone like arms length close to me emotionally physically and before you think any anything happened to me like someone dumping me or heartbreak it wasn't that it wasn't anything that had to do with relationships it was just something else it made me have trust issues I didn't trust anybody maybe someday I'll talk about it here so I just withdrew into a shell I got very 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 depressed and then some things in the house was just making me feel depressed. So when you're depressed, you start by thinking, and when you start by thinking, you don't mind the things you take into yourself. Like, I heard this once, it's a preaching by T.D. Jakes, when you lose your fight. So I think, I just, I just lost my fight. Like, at that point, you don't care about anything. That's how someone that's depressed could act. And the thing about being depressed is that, it's not always written on your face. Some persons, when they are depressed, you can easily tell, like it's on their sleeves. You can tell that they are depressed by just looking at them. That's like they carry their emotions on their sleeve. But that's not the kind of person I am. Like I really had a tough shell. I had a very, very, very good way of hiding the fact that I was depressed. Like no one really truly knew that I was going through something at that time that point in my life so I can't, I can't really say when exactly when the weight gain started but alongside the stress and depression I had just been very sad overthinking a lot of things just all together and the weight just started coming 
and the reason I think let me add it is I was trying to be Jackie <laughs> I've heard this saying you cannot be Jack for all traits I was literally trying to be Jackie like you know I too know who are smart I'm just someone that likes to learn a lot and I was at home I was like I wanted to learn every skill under the sun there's nothing I did not do hey God. let me tell you there's nothing I did not do when I was staying at home I went into beauty, beauty and cosmetics. I became a consultant for a skincare brand. I went into telecommunications. I started working with one telecommunications service. I can't remember their name. I joined one training academy for women. I was pretty young, like everyone in that group were in their early teens. I was the youngest person there. So I was into that. I really can't remember everything right now, but I'm going to put it on the screen. I did so many things. You know when you're sad, you're trying to like get too busy. That was a coping mechanism for me. You know you're sad. But when you sit down and you're not doing anything, that's when you start feeling like you're sad. When you're busy, you won't really, like have that much space to yourself or time to you know, get into your head and think about your sadness. I was sad and I was trying to do everything. I was like, I'm capable of it too, why not, right? And I think doing that was over myself and that was one of the reasons. Another reason I added weight was working and trying different things. So alongside learning new skills, obviously I wasn't just learning it, I was also putting them to work right so when i was working for a skincare brand that was like later on they had conferences they had seminars they had a lot of events and most of them were not near my home so i had to like take a vehicle and i had to go like two hours away very very far for these programs and then i started training them i started working and then i was working for my mom as well i was helping my mom's grocery business so it was just so much work like so much toll i was really like really trying to do so many things at the same time i just wanted to achieve something for myself at that age i used to think like so many things are so messed up but looking back right now i feel proud of my younger self because i was kind of very very ambitious a little too ambitious but it was nice i actually learned so many skills that some of them i'm not using right now some of them i'm using so i even tried graphic design graphic design i just remember that so so many things like that's one of the reasons I think that maybe this one is not like a whole the whole reason, but it's like one of them applying for remote jobs. So while I was also working like working physically, doing things physically by myself, I wanted to do something online. Talk about exhaustion. I'm going to find this picture where you see someone has gigantic hands like spread out. I'm going to find them to put it on the screen. If this is boys, so I'm going to get a job on every finger of my thumb. I wasn't thinking about it then. It just felt like I wasn't leaving any doors closed. That was just how I felt at that moment. I was like, if this doesn't work, I go on to the next thing, it doesn't work. And I didn't have patience, like, so I was trying different things. At the same time, just like you are applying for 10 jobs at the same time, and the possibility of getting a job, particularly when I had and so on, but you really didn't care, you just moved on to apply to all of them at the same time. So that's how it felt like. And I got some of them, but all the processes were so long, and man. That also caused stress. So that was something to get. The next reason I gained weight was not being mindful of what I put into my mouth. I was a chef of the house and that time I was experimenting with everything. Jackie. <laughs> like if you watch my previous videos, you know that my hobbies I like cooking. I like experimenting with a lot of things. So when I enter the kitchen, I'm like, let me try this, let me try this, let me try that. I think you have tried a lot of things, you have swam reply for the calories. You know a chef cooks right in the kitchen, but I was not just the chef, I was the chef and the housekeeper. That means if the house is out of stock of a particular food and one is getting it. The one writing the list, organizing the list, getting every single stuff. I know exactly what's in the house and what's not in the house, right? So if I like, I know in and out of the fridge, in and out of the kitchen cabinet, in and out of every single way. I know where the money is going in, <laughs> going out and where the money is coming in. <laughs> every single detail. If you want to even call me accountant for the kitchen, I was that. Basically, I was taking stock of everything in the kitchen, like, that was just genuinely, that was what I was doing in the house. So, as I was cooking, I was tasting, I used to watch a lot of videos, like, my mom was teaching me how to cook different traditional dishes that I didn't know. I knew how to cook simple dishes, like, simple dishes, like, normal simple dishes, but traditional dishes, like, some native soups, native, you know, meals, I didn't know how to cook, my mom was teaching me. But aside, I really wanted to just, like, <laughs> less many cuisines at the same time i was just so fascinated i think my curiosity was too much oh my gosh i feel like i still have that very wild curiosity but it has toned down a bit like so i've grown older <laughs> i've had more sense my common sense i've scaled up 
so I'm not like chasing after every opportunity and chasing after every you know idea or every single thing that comes to my head but then I was like literally trying every single thing I was like I learned this new recipe online I'll cook it I learned this recipe online I'll cook it I tried this one I'll buy ingredients I'll, 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 like all over the place like and then I was so mindful of what's going in my mouth and just so that was one of the reasons I gained weight the next reason is that I satisfied my cravings as I pleased so when you have access to all these things, I don't even think you have the right to say you have cravings. You know, cravings are kind of things that are out of reach. You don't have to go an extra mile to get it or something like that, right? But when it's close by, like, you just literally have to stand up and go and prepare it. How you have cravings? <laughs> okay, it's still called cravings, right? But you can quickly satisfy it. So I would say it's a semi-craving, right? So I had access to so many ingredients and my mom had a big grocery store do you know what i'm talking about then my mom gives me money for food stuff she gives me money for food stuff because obviously I'm the, I'm the cook right so instead of that if you cannot find a certain thing that you want you can always go to her grocery shop and pick it up do you see how full ass is so like i satisfied my cravings as i pleased if i wanted to have the um, roasted yam i'll have roasted yam if i wanted to have suya i'll have suya if i wanted to have shawarma i'll have shawarma for when that, though sometimes it was limited because you cannot just go on it, it's a spree, it's which lessons money. But it wasn't always hard to get my hands on whatever I wanted. And the ones I could not find, I cooked it myself. The ones I did not know how to cook, I went on YouTube and learned how to cook it. <sighs> That's a whole a whole a whole process. The mid part of when I stayed home, right? I stayed working out. I stayed becoming conscious of my body, but not very well. But like I wasn't I was still telling myself I'm not that big I'm okay I'm fine I'm okay I'm fine right but I just wanted to like get you know some workout in I still watch a lot of workout videos nice I was like let me try them and so I started trying them and you know one thing about I thought I was going to just give up immediately because I was like <laughs> like me working out but I still working out and one thing actually kept me was able to keep working out was my little sister she was so little and she was so lean she's so lean actually she's me. but she wanted to work out and when I mean little I mean little she was like 10 or 11 but I think she was she was not enough to 12 years old at that time she was so small and I was with her all the time I used to take care of her I used to take her to school and everything she was kind of close to me at that time and everything I wanted to do she wanted to do it. anywhere I wanted to go she wanted to go she was like my little bodyguard <laughs> I used to carry her everywhere so when I wanted to work out she wanted to work out and if a day went by where I walked out without her, she would cry, 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 and I was like, this is such a big deal to her, so, like, and she's one saying, Grace, let's work out, Grace, let's work out, I was like, okay, fine, let's work out, so I started working out, but then I was so patient, and you know when you're working out and you're not focusing on your eating habits too, so you're literally just, like, wasting time, wasting energy, for you to lose weight, you have to, like, focus on your exercise and focus on what to eat, but I wasn't doing that, I was just eating as I like and working out, like, there was a little bit different. I could see that my tummy got really, really, really tired, but I wasn't patient enough. And after a while, I gave up. I gave up, and the weight came back. Like, <laughs> it was time. <laughs> it was time. Seconds. And I gained more than I lost. So that was another reason why I gained it. The last reason I think I gained weight was stressful eating. So earlier I said I had on a lot of stress and yes that's true aside having a lot of stress i was having what i call stress stressful eating alongside like when i was really really stressed like i would just you know put my hands on whatever i could eat at that age where i was never thinking about planning my meals i never thought about meal prep when i was hungry i would not get what i wanted at that time at that point you're very very hungry i really don't mind you just want to, you just want to eat and so eating your just consuming more than you're supposed to eat so it just really escalated and after a while everything just came crashing down like <laughs> if i count from when i finished secondary school so now i've gained a, a total of 20 kg plus and that's a lot and right now i know i'm not fat so that's why this video that's why this video is not why did i get fat because i know i'm not fat but i cannot not the fact that I added so much weight, I put on some weight in some parts of my body, like my midsection, my thighs got full, very full, and just some other parts of my body. Some reasons I gained words was emotional for me, and another reason was mentally. Third reason 
was physically so just three reasons made me put on so much weight but that's gonna change anyway so that's it that's the end of my story time and that's why i gained weight if you like this story make sure you leave a thumbs up share this video smash the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss an update see you in my next video bye